Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Philadelphia Phillies. They will take on the Boston Red Sox on Tuesday and Wednesday. And after that, a four game set with the New York Mets on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. They are a half game behind the Atlanta Braves. Let's hope they can start collecting wins in their upcoming series with teams that have winning records. The Philadelphia Union are 9-11-3 on the season. They will take on the New England Revolution on Saturday. They have 27 points on the season. If the season were to end today, they would be in the knockout round. They are behind the Montreal Impact for 5th place to get into the knockout round. Let's hope they get a few more wins under their belt and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia Eagles are 0-1 on the preseason. They will take on the New England Patriots on Thursday in Foxborough, a rematch of Super Bowl 52. The Philadelphia Eagles acquired quarterback Christian Hackenberg. He came from Penn State where he played for the Nittany Lions after which he signed with the Jets from 2016 through 2017. Christian also played for the Oakland Raiders in 2018. We will talk more of the local teams next week. It's time for What Are They Up To Now? This week, we will talk about the 2004-2005 Philadelphia E-I-G-L-E-S Eagles playoff team. This week, we will be talking about Philadelphia Eagles head coach Andy Weed. Andy Weed was born on March 19, 1958. Is an American football coach who is the current head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs of the National Football League. We was previously the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, a position he held from 1999 to 2012. From 2001 to 2012, he was also the Eagles Executive Vice President of Football Operations, effectively making him the team's general manager. He led the Eagles to five National Football Conference Championship games, including four consecutive appearances from 2001 through 2004, and one Super Bowl appearance in 2004. We played college football at BYU. In 2001, Weed's Eagles won the first of four consecutive National Football Conference Eastern Division titles, the longest such streak in franchise history, and advanced to the conference championship game in 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004, losing this game on the first three occasions. The 2003 team qualified for the postseason play after opening the season with two losses both at home, and was also the first NFL team ever to reach a conference title round of the playoffs after having been shut out at home on opening day. The 2004 team was the second NFC East squad to defeat all of its division rivals, New York football giants, Dallas, how about them Cowboys, Washington, hail to the Redskins, twice during the same regular season. Dallas Cowboys did it in 1998. The 2004 Eagles clinched the NFC first seed with a 13-1 record and proceed to rest their stars for the final two games. After three straight NFC Championship losses, the team beat the Falcons 27-10 and made it to Super Bowl 34, but fell to the New England Patriots 24-21 in the final minutes. Reed is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Reed met his wife Tammy in a physical education class at BYU. They have five children, sons Garrett, Britt, and Spencer, and daughters Crosby and Drew Ann. His oldest son Garrett was found dead August 5, 2012 in his womb at training camp at Lehigh University from an accidental heroin overdose. Currently, Andy is the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Next week, we will talk about former quarterback for the Eagles, Redskins, and Vikings, number five, Donovan McNabb. It's time for This Week in Sports History, everything happening around in the world of sports. On August 15, 1936, the Berlin Olympic fencing competition concludes with Italy winning four of the seven gold medals and Hungary taking the other three. August 16, 1883, the Dutch Soccer Club, Dordrecht, is established. 
August 17, 1920, the Yankees canceled game with the Cleveland Indians in memory of Ray Chapman, who passed away. August 18, 1920, the first class cricket debut of Walter Hammond. August 19, 1909, the historic Indianapolis 500 race track opens. On August 20th, 1922, the first World Championship Athletics for Women was held in Paris, France. I'll have more sports history fun facts next week. It's time to recap the 2018 PGA Championship. Admiss the walls and the challenges and acute pressure, Brooks Kopika bullied through it all to win his second major of the season at the 100th PGA Championship. Here's how the action-packed and emotionally charged final round played out at Bell Reeve Country Club. It was Kopika who set the stage. Tiger Woods was making a spirit run for his first major victory in over a decade. Thomas was trying to successfully defend his title. Adam Scott was attempting to produce an inspirational triumph, but in the end, it was Kopika who kept his nerve, outplayed the field, and never wavered a, as a raucous crowd exhorted everybody around him. Brooks Kopika is the dominant major force, undeniably so. There were a few lower scores in the final round, but none were more impressive than Kopika's 66, which included six birdies and two bogeys. Most impressively was what happened down the stretch. Scott had tied Kopika through 14 holes, and Woods was one back. Kopika then birdied two consecutive holes to add the Wanamaker Trophy to his pair of U.S. Open titles. Congratulations to Brooks Kopika for winning the 2018 PGA Championship. Well, that is a wrap. You can also listen to my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments rolling and we will talk to you next week.